It is June 3rd. Let me show you what I'm growing in the garden. In this first bed here, we've got spaghetti squash in the middle and onions along the outside. Now these spaghetti squash will run. I'm gonna try to push them this way instead of that way towards the rest of the garden. Because right here we have other things that are running, which is sweet potato, sweet potato. And I'm gonna push their vines up there to finish off the rest of that bed. Oh, I've got to show you over here. We got some herbs planted in the front of this bed, some dill and some oregano. And then on the third bed, we have some parsley at the end of this bed here. And I tried it, sweet potatoes a different way. I just buried a few sweet potatoes and then the slips are popping up and I'm gonna run them down the middle of these beans right here. These are green beans. Over here we have a bed just slapped full of green bean, bush beans. And over here we've got more squash. These are zucchini squash in the middle with again onions along the outside. And then we have more green beans, slap full of green beans here with carrots along the outside. Both sides, carrots all the way along the outside of the green beans. Here we have a weedy bed just of onions. I need to get in there real good with the hoe and re weed it out. And then this was our cool weather crops, our spring crops that I did, some broccolis in the middle. I've already harvested the big heads of broccoli. Except for one of them, I was seeing if it would get a little bit bigger, but it doesn't look like it will, so we'll take that one. And of course, we'll wait on the little florets that push out the side. We also got collard greens that the bugs are loving, cabbages that the bugs are loving on either side of the, the broccolis. And don't be afraid if a bug's eating your produce, guys. I would be afraid if the bugs don't eat your produce. That means it's probably not very good or something's wrong with it. All right, so those are the eight garden beds that are about 40 foot long, about three foot wide. Up here, we've got our perennials. We see our asparagus has already gone to fern. We've got rhubarb right behind this aspar asparagus. Right beside the rhubarb, we have aronia berries. They are doing pretty well. They'll turn nice and deep red purple, a reddish purple. So now we get into our strawberry patch right here in the front. And behind the strawberry patch is a bunch of blueberry bushes. And let me tell you what, there is a bunch of strawberries in here just waiting all over the place, waiting to be picked. And the blueberries are coming in nicely too. We got our protector of the garden, Mr. Pumpkin. You doing a good job, Pumpkin, keeping my berries safe. And then Miss Dutch is over there just hanging out, being lazy bones. There's a pile of compost, and then boom, our potato patch is doing quite well. This is a nice, it's like five foot wide, about 50 foot long. And then over here, this patch didn't do as good. I saved both of these potatoes from last year's harvest. This, this side over here, I saved in the refrigerator. This side over here, I did not save in the refrigerator. They seem to be doing a lot better. Right behind the perennials, we have our trellis system. I'll be putting peppers, they're almost ready to be transplanted, up here in the very front. Our different type of bell peppers and a few hot peppers. And I'm gonna do um, Roma tomatoes right here because we love canning spaghetti sauce. So we're gonna do salsa, all kinds of stuff with, uh, we're not big on like tomato sandwiches, but we're, good on, we're big on canning and Romas are really good with that. So we're gonna do a big old line of Romas here. And then I've already planted some vining squash, tromboncino squash right here. And then we switch over to cucumbers right here. And then we switch over to loofah right here. And we've got a few trellises, the loofah and the cucumbers and the tromboncino squash can go over. So that's gonna be really cool. Right behind it where I planted these a bunch of elderberry bushes, gonna be an elderberry hedge right here. Since it's so young, I went ahead and put in, uh, we've got melons, watermelons, and we have um, pumpkins also back here. In between these small bushes, this will probably be the only year I'll be able to do something like that. And there you go, 